are excited is we will welcome Pastor Brian to take us into tonight's I greet you all in the name, name of Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Welcome, welcome to welcome, welcome to, to the Tuesday, Tuesday prayer, prayer service. service. Uh, I, I hope, hope everyone, everyone is doing, doing okay. okay. Um, we are we are still, still going, going to teach, teach and preach, preach under, under the theme uh, uh, Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. And, and so far, so far it's, it's been amazing. amazing. Amen. Amen. It's, it's been, been amazing, amazing. Um, amazing, amazing message, message from, from the woman, the woman of, of God, God on Sunday. Sunday. Amen. 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 Let's, Let's put, put our hands together, together for, for Mama Matiwaza. Mama Matiwaza. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. I would, I would like, like to, to, I would like, I'd like to, to honor, honor the bishop. bishop. Uh, bishop, uh, bishop, Dr. Dr. Senior in, in absentia and Senior, Senior Reverend, Reverend Dr. Esnia, amen. amen. In absentia for, for allowing, allowing us the opportunity to serve, to serve in the in Lord's, Lord's vineyard. vineyard. Amen. 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 I'd like, like, like to honor, honor all the leaders, the leaders here present, present Senior, Senior pastors, 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 elders, elders ministers, and, and departmental heads. heads. And, and the, the congregation, congregation. Amen. Amen. Thank, thank you for, you for coming, coming out on a winter, winter on a Tuesday, Tuesday winter, winter evening. Hallelujah. 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 Allow, Allow me to pray. pray. Father, Father, in the name of Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, we thank you for, for the, the entrance of your it brings, brings full light, light and understanding. And understanding. We thank, we thank you for your good God. God. We thank you for your mercy, God. God. We thank, we thank you, Lord, Lord Heavenly Father, that as, as, we, we, as, we, as we explore, explore and, get and get into, into the subject, subject of, of getting, getting to know, know our, our Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ, Christ, that, that we may open the eyes of our understanding, that we, that we may know the scriptures. Let it, let it be more of you and less of us. Increase, increase in, this in this place, place even as we teach in the name, the name of, of Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> standing, standing up here, up here is, is hard joy. One of the struggles of the preacher is escaping reality during, during ministry. ministry. I'm about, I'm about to, to preach, but a lot of things are happening in my, in my head. head. That's why you see I'm... Joy is looking, looking at me. She knows. It's like she's like got an idea. Amen. A lot, a lot of, of things. <laughs> a lot of, a lot of things are crossing my mind. It happens, it happens to all preachers. Amen. Amen. Devil, Devil starts, starts talking to you, and I have people, people living, living in my head. Amen. Amen. Some, some are for Christ, some, some are not for Christ. I'm being being here. Amen. <laughs> uh, I'm going I'm going to preach here tonight. tonight. Amen. Amen. So, so I want us to, to go to the book of Genesis, chapter five. From so verse, verse 5, verse, verse 3, we're, we're going, going to read the genealogy. Amen. Amen. We're going to read the genealogy. I hated, I hated genealogy because I didn't see the purpose of genealogy, but we're, we're going to find something tonight. tonight. Amen. Amen. This, this is, is Moses, Moses writing, writing the book of Genesis. Genesis. The book, the book of, of Genesis is listed to some Bible school. Amen. Amen. The book, the book of, of Genesis, Genesis is interesting because Genesis 
is where, where we get, get uh, um, the, word the word genes, genes or, or genetics. genetics. It's the, it's the book, book of, of beginnings. beginnings. Amen. Amen. It's, the it's the book, book of, of beginnings. beginnings. Genesis, Genesis chapter, chapter 1, one verse 1. one. You, don't you don't have to throw, throw it up, up on the on screen. The screen. It says, it says in the beginning, beginning God created, created the, the heavens, heavens and, and the earth. Amen. Amen. In the New Testament, a book that we can liken to the book of Genesis, Shumba, is the book of John. Because the book of John says, in the beginning, in the beginning was, the word, was the word. And the word was. And the word was. And the word was. So John, so John and, Moses and Moses are actually, are actually in the same, in the same category, category of revelation. Of revelation. Because... because Moses begins, Moses the, begins New the New Testament by saying in the, by saying in the beginning God created, God created the, heavens the heavens and the earth. John, John being the being fourth, the fourth, fourth of book of the Gospels, Gospels begins, begins differently, differently from, all from all the other three books. Matthew begins, Matthew with, begins with the genealogy. Luke does, Luke does not begin with the genealogy. Mark, Mark begins, begins with the genealogy. With the, genealogy. the genealogy of Christ, of Christ according, according to the flesh. But John, but John begins, begins, this begins this book in the in the spirit, just like just Moses. like Moses. The interesting, the interesting thing, thing with Moses, Moses and John, and John, Pastor Carl, Pastor Carl is that, is both, that of both of them have have almost almost similar, similar encounters, encounters with, with God. God. Moses, Moses has, an, has encounter an encounter with God, with God in, the in the book of Exodus, Exodus chapter, chapter, chapter thirty three. Where God, where, say, God where, say, where, where Moses, where Moses says, to says to God, uh, uh, show me, show your me your glory. I'm building, I'm a, building case. a case. Show me, your show glory. me your glory. And God says, and God there's, says a there's a near rock you. near you. And that rock, and that rock there's a cliff. There's a cliff so I'm going to put you in the cliff of that, that, that rock. And I'm going to cover you with, you with my hand. You will not you will see, not my, see face. my face. You will see, you my, will see my. You will see my. You will see my back. So Moses, so Moses saw God's so back and wrote, and wrote what, what had happened before. He wrote, he wrote Genesis, Genesis. What had happened, what had happened before. before? If you read, if you read in Revelation chapter one, joy. The Bible, the says, Bible says, John says, John says I, heard I heard a voice behind, behind me, me. And, I and I turned around and what did John see? John, see. John, saw, John Christ saw Christ's face, face and wrote, and things, wrote to things to come. So Moses so saw, Moses God's saw back God's back and wrote things, and wrote that, things that, that way, and wrote, and wrote, wrote God where God, God was coming God. from. John, John saw God's, God's Jesus, Jesus face and wrote things that were to happen. So that's why, so it, that's is why it is important in a worship, in a worship service, service to seek, to seek, his. seek his. So let's so read, let's read Genesis, Genesis chapter, chapter five. five, verse five. Verse five. So all, so the, days all the days that Adam that lived, Adam lived were nine hundred and thirty years, and, 30 and, years, he, and died. he died. Verse six. Verse six. Seth lived, Seth lived 105 years, years and, and begot Enosh. Verse seven. Verse seven. Let me just let me just read the names and not the because we have, because to, read we have from, to read from chapter chapter verse five. Verse five. Verse, verse thirty-two. Take, take, take time. So so verse five. Verse five is Adam. Adam. Verse verse six. Yes, six seven. Yes, seven. Looking we're looking for names. Verse seven. Verse seven. Verse seven. Enosh. Enosh. Verse eight. Verse eight. Verse nine. Verse nine. Canaan. Canaan. Verse. Let's uh, note, the, note names. the names. Verse ten. Verse ten. Verse eleven. Verse twelve. Mahalalel. Verse twelve. Verse eighteen. This. This is from Adam to Noah. Verse eighteen. Verse 18, verse 18, verse 18. Should I go to my notes? Verse 14. Or well, let me read them from my notes so that we save on time. So, Genesis chapter 5, verse 5 up to verse 32. These are the names that you'll find Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Kenan Mahalalel, Mahalalel, Jared, Jared Enosh, Enosh, Enosh Methuselah, Lamech, Lamech, and Noah. And Noah. Above, all, above those all those names is God, is God because, because God, it's God, then Adam, then Adam, the, first man. the first man, then the sons, then the sons that come that after, Adam. after Adam. Cain and Cain Abel, and Abel, Abel are not mentioned because, because Abel, is Abel is killed and Cain, and Cain is, excommunicated. is excommunicated. So, so the only the only registered son there is, is, is Seth is because, because that's Adam's son. Adam's son. Then I want us then to I go, want to go to the book of 
Philippians, Philippians chapter 2, verse 5, verse 5 which, reads, which reads, let this mind, this mind which was in Christ Jesus, Jesus be in you, be in also. you also. Romans, Romans chapter, chapter 8, 8, verse 11. Verse 11. Give, me Give me Romans chapter 8, 8 verse 11. Romans chapter, Romans chapter 8, 8 verse 11. But if, but if the spirit, the spirit of, of him, him who raised Jesus, Jesus from the dead, dead draws in you, Draws in you, he, he who raised Christ, raised Christ from the dead, from the dead will also give your, your natural, your natural, your natural bodies. bodies. Uh, uh, your mortal your bodies. bodies will also give life to your mortal bodies through his spirit, his spirit who dwells, who dwells so, in you. So the key factor, the key factor, factor is that the same spirit that raised Jesus from the dead is the same spirit that dwells in you. Not in partiality, in partiality but, but, in, but in, its in, in its fullness. I'm taking too much time with the scriptures. Matthew chapter 8 verse 27. So the, so men, the men marvel, marvel saying, saying who, who can this, can this be? that the winds and the sea obey him. I like the KJV, if I'm not mistaken, that says, what manner of man is this, amen? What manner of man is this that even the winds and the sea obey him? Oh, yes. Now, let's get going. Like Mama Tiozo would say, let's press play. All right, all right. Six, six assignment, assignment keys, keys of, keys of Christ Jesus Christ on earth. On earth. We are going to, look, going at to look at six main six reasons. Main there are many other, many reasons, other reasons why Jesus, why came, Jesus came, had to come had to on, come earth, on as earth, earth as a man, as God in the flesh. In the, flesh. The, first the first reason why, reason Jesus, why Jesus came, came Jesus came to reveal the Father. Jesus came to reveal the Father. The three main the three things, main that, things Jesus that Jesus came to reveal, came to reveal from, the from the Father is the Father's, is the Father's power, power, His will, His will and, His and His love. Jesus, Jesus came to reveal the Father. The Father. John, John 17, verse 7. 7, 7. I have managed, I have managed this, this Jesus', Jesus longest, longest prayer. prayer. The longest, the longest prayer, prayer that Jesus prayed is in John 17. John 17. And I would recommend, and I would recommend that, that every, uh, uh, every believer, every believer goes, goes and reads that prayer. John 17. And part, and of, that part of that prayer is verse 6, verse 6 verse seven. and verse 7. I have, I have, this is Jesus, this is Jesus talking to God. He says, I have manifested your name to the men whom you have given me out to the world. They were yours. You gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Amen. And they have kept your word. Number two, Jesus came to express the Father. John chapter 5, verse 19, to, verse 19 and 20. Jesus came to express the Father. Then Jesus answered to them. And Jesus answered and said to them, Most assuredly, I say to you, the Son can, can do nothing, do nothing of, himself, of himself, but he, but sees, he sees but what, but he, what he, he sees the Father, the Father do. do. For whatever, For whatever he, does, he does, the Son the also does, also in, does a like in a like manner. So Jesus, so Jesus is, going is going to be the example, the example of, of uh, uh, divine, divine collaboration between, between a man, a man and and, and, his creator, and his creator, amen. amen. These, these are, what are what I would, uh, I would uh, distinctly, distinctly say, say. There are some, there are some verses where, where Jesus, Jesus quotes, quotes himself, himself as, God. as God. Then, then there are some, there verses, are some verses where, where Jesus, Jesus quotes, quotes himself, himself as, a as a man. These, these are, the, are the Christ, Christ as a man, as a man verses, verses. Amen. Amen. Where he where is, he is uh, uh, utter, uh, saying, saying, saying certain utterances, utterances as though, as he, though was he was one of us. As though, as though he was, he was just, just a, mere a mere man. Amen. Amen. So, so what, he's, what he's saying, saying is, is, I do not, I do, not anything do anything unless the unless Father, the father reveals, reveals, reveals it to me. It to me. Amen. Amen. For the Father, For the father loves the Son and shows him all things. Amen. That is a relationship. That is a very intricate and a very a deep, deep relationship. relationship. Because, he says, because he says, For the Father, for the father loves, loves me and shows me, and shows me all, all things that he, that himself, he himself does. does. And, he will, and he will show him, him and he will show him greater, greater works, works than these that you may, that marvel. You may marvel. So imagine, so imagine a situation where, as a believer, as a believer you have such, you have deep, such deep insight, insight into what, into the, what father the Father does. does. If, if you can be, you can able, be able to see how God manages the universe, from, from time, time immemorial, immemorial. Amen. Amen. Imagine, Imagine how you manage, manage your finances. So, so Jesus, Jesus is saying, if I if take I you, take you and put you in my place, you should be able to be, able to be in a position, in a position where, where you can you see, see what, the what the Father does. 
Amen. Amen. Constantly, Constantly and consistently. And consistently. Um, John chapter, John chapter 14, 14, verse 8. Verse 8. Philip, Philip said to Jesus, to Jesus Lord, show Lord, us show us the Father, us the Father and it will be sufficient, and it is sufficient for us. Then Jesus, then Jesus responds and says, Philip, I've Philip, been, I've been with you for this long. long. If you have, if seen, you have me, seen me, you have seen, you have the, seen the, these are the, 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 the Christ, the Christ the man is a man versus. What Jesus, what Jesus is saying to Philip is, the more, the more you continually, continually see the Father, the more you, the more will, you become will become like the Father. Like the Father. That's why, he's That's saying, why he's saying, I have been I with, have you, been for with you for this long. long. If you, if you, have, you have seen me, you have seen, seen the... That's the That's evolution, the evolution of, a of a believer. Amen. Amen. We should, we should be, at be at a point in our lives, in our lives where, where we have we constant, have constant view, of view of the Father. Of the Father. His, will his will and His power. And his power. To the extent, to the extent that, it's, that it's, it, becomes it becomes difficult, difficult to separate... To separate what you what have you become, have become with, the father. with the Father. Genesis, Genesis chapter, chapter 1, 1 verse 26. Let us, let us make, make man in our, in our and our image, image being, being the form, the form likeness, likeness being character, character and performance. And performance. So, Jesus so Jesus is taking, is taking Philip, Philip to Genesis, Genesis, chapter Genesis chapter 1 verse 26. 26. The, image the image and the likeness. And the likeness. Amen. Amen. I'm taking too taking long. Too long. Uh, uh, Third reason, Third reason why, Jesus why Jesus came, came. Jesus, came Jesus came to set to the, set the standard, standard of living for those who would, who believe, would believe in him. Luke chapter 4, verse 18. 18. The interesting, interesting thing about, about Jesus Christ, Christ in, this in this particular portion of scripture, of scripture is, is that he is quoting Isaiah. And yet, and yet Jesus, Jesus is the one, is the that, one gave that gave Isaiah, Isaiah the inspiration to write this particular verse. Jesus, Jesus could have, could just, have just stood up and, up and, quoted, and quoted the verse, the verse and set down. down. But, if you, but if you read, it says that, it says he, that took he took the scroll. scroll. Which means, Which means Jesus, Jesus read, read the word. The word. <laughs> and yet, and he yet read the word. So why are you so why not, not reading your Bible? Bible? <laughs> if God if himself, himself could, could read, pick up the scroll, scroll, scroll that he wrote and read it. The spirit, the spirit of the Lord, of the Lord is upon me because, because he has anointed, anointed me to preach the gospel. The gospel. He has sent me to heal the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, to recover sight and recover your sight to the blind, to set at liberty those that are oppressed. This was Jesus' assignment. Amen. So this is going to be the standard for everyone who will come and believe in him amen amen this this is the bar, is the bar. amen amen this is the this bar. is the bar this, this is, the is the standard number four number four jesus jesus came to came restore to dominion, dominion kingdom dominion, dominion. dominion. Luke, chapter Luke chapter 10, 10 verse 19. Verse 19. Ah, ah, i've only been I've only preaching, been preaching for, six for six minutes it feels like it feels like i've been one it's like i've been i'm rushing because i'm thinking i'm out of time I'm in spirit, I'm in spirit time, time, maybe. Amen. 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 No, no, Pastor Carl, I can't take, 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 take my time. We have got, we have 20, got 20 things, things to go through. And I'm only, and I'm only one. <laughs> I'll try and I'll take, try my, and take time. my time. Jesus, Jesus came, came to restore kingdom, kingdom dominion. dominion. Luke chapter, Luke chapter 10, 10, verse 19. And, and, uh, 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 um, and he said and to them, I saw Satan fall like lightning from heaven. Can you give me, is it possible to give me verse 19? Verse 19. Behold, Behold, I give, I you, give you what? I give you what? The interesting thing is when Adam sinned in the garden, we lost the dominion. Amen. So Adam is harmoniously living with lion's joy because he's named them, he's given them nature. So Automatically, what you name is to submit to you. So the lion could not eat Adam and Eve. Could not eat, could not Adam, eat Adam, and Adam and Eve because, because they were functioning, they were functioning in 100% dominion. dominion. Now that, now that so, so when Adam, when Adam, comes, Adam comes and, and tempts Eve, Eve, when the when devil, the comes, devil and comes and tempts Eve, Eve the, devil the devil says, says did God did really, God really say? say if you read, if you read chapter, chapter, chapter 4, 4 verse 1 to 4, the devil appears, appears to the second, to the second Adam, Adam with the same, same set of questions. But, but in, pack, in, pack is different. different. 
says, says, if, if you are really, you are really the, son of, the son of God. Genesis, Genesis chapter, chapter, chapter three, 3, he says, did God, did God really? really? Now he says, now he to, says the to the son of God, God the second Adam, Adam did, if, if you, are, you the are the son. So, so the, 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 the fall of man, man was a question, was a question of, of identity. identity. And that's where, and that's most, where of most of us believers, believers fall, apart. fall apart when it comes, when it comes to, to who are you. Who are you? Most, of the, most of the time we fall when it comes to identity. And so, and so Adam, Adam um, Eve, Eve, Eve takes of the fruit and, and eats it. Adam, Adam comes, comes from, a from a church service from walking, from walking with, with God, God in the cool, cool of the day. After leaving, after his, leaving his wife at home, instead of instead going, of going with, Eve, with Eve to the church, to the church service, service, Adam goes, Adam goes alone. alone. So number two, so number two, two the fall of man was an issue of discipleship. And so, and so when Eve, when Eve, Eve eats of the fruit, of the fruit Adam, Adam, Adam comes home and realizes, realizes his wife, his wife is messed, messed up. up. The interesting, the interesting thing, thing, you, you never, never read anywhere, Adam, Adam says, what if, what have you done? What did, what Adam, did Adam, do? Adam do? Adam knew, Adam the, knew that he was not, he was supposed, not supposed to eat from, to eat from the tree. He ate. He ate. So now so Adam, Adam has to make a to make sacrifice, sacrifice for, his for his wife. The same the thing, same that, thing Jesus that Jesus is going to do on the cross. So now, so now what, what Adam, Adam is literally doing, doing he's saying, God, God if you are going to touch my wife, you first have to go through, lay the burden on me. Because you, because you instructed, instructed me not to eat from the, from the tree. You did not, you did not instruct, instruct Eve. I was I meant, was as meant as to instruct, to instruct my, wife. my wife. That's what That's Jesus, what Jesus did. did. When God wanted, God to, wanted strike to strike the, 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 his, bride. his bride, Jesus, Jesus took, the, took the, the, sin, fruit, the fruit and ate and it and, ate it and said, if you want to touch my bride, you have to go through me. And so that's why Jesus has to be nailed to the cross because he's defending his wife. And so, and so now, now this, this verse is now is going to be, gonna the, be the restoration of that authority, of that, authority that was, that was lost, lost in the in the garden. In the garden. That's why That's Jesus, why Jesus is, is the lamb, lamb that was slain before, before, before the foundations of the world. world. Amen. 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 Behold, I, Behold, give, you I give you authority now, now to trample, to trample on, serpents on serpents and scorpions and, scorpions and over, over all the power of the and nothing shall by any means do what. I'm going back, I'm going to, back to Mama, Mama Tiwa's story, story on Sunday, amen. And nothing, and nothing, nothing not, some, not some things, and nothing, and nothing shall, shall by any means. Any means. And so, and so the, the word serpents and, and scorpions, there is really not animals. really animals. It's types, it's types of, 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 it's ranks of demonic, demonic force, force, amen. amen. It's ranks, it's ranks of demonic force. force. That's, why, That's why in the book of Genesis, Genesis God said, and the seed, and the seed of, the of the woman shall crush the head, head of, the of the serpent. serpent. Amen. It Amen. It means now, now, now that scripture, that scripture has, been has been fulfilled. That all, that all things, things are now under, under your feet. Feet. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number five. Number five. Jesus, Jesus came to restore our relationship with Yahweh. With God. With God. John chapter, John chapter 17, 17. The whole chapter you, you can read that during your own spare time. time. Number six. Jesus, Jesus came to release the power of the Holy, of the Holy Spirit. Spirit. Acts, Acts chapter, chapter one, verse, one eight. verse eight. And you shall. And you shall. But you shall but receive you shall. power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you. And you shall be witnesses to me in Jerusalem, in Judea, in Samaria, and the ends of the earth. Now, let's move to the second uh, part of this message and deal with Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. We are now introducing the Christ man or Jesus Christ as a man. Let's read Isaiah chapter 9 verse 6. For unto us a child is, unto us a son is, so that those are two different messages. So now we understand that children are born, but sons are given. Children are born, natural process, process. sons, sons are, given. are given, spiritual, spiritual process. process. It means it sons, means sons are, process are process to become, to become sons. sons. So now we so understand, now we understand that, we that we can have grown, grown people, people that, are that are children because they've, because not, they've been not been processed. So, I, so, so Isaiah, Isaiah is saying a child, a child will, be born, will be born through natural, through natural means. means. 
but a but son, a son will be given through spiritual, through spiritual means. means. That's why when, That's why when Jesus, Jesus Christ was born, born he was born of a woman. Of a woman. But when, but when his, his day, day of being, of being uh, 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 ordained, ordained as, a son, as a son is in Matthew, is in Matthew chapter, chapter 3, 3 verse 16, when he's, when he's baptized, baptized by John. By John. God, God then says, then says a, voice a voice up, up, up his heart is heaven from heaven saying, this, this is, is my son, son not, my not my child. This is this my, is my son, son in whom I am well pleased. pleased. Before, Before even, even Jesus performs his first miracle. miracle. When Gabriel, when Gabriel appears, appears to Mary, he says, says you shall be with child. child. But in Matthew, but in Matthew chapter, chapter 3, three verse 15 and 17, God says, this is my... So children are born and sons are... So now, so now number, one, number one, Christ, Christ the God, the man. God man, number one, number one, he was, he born, was of born of a woman. Look chapter, Look chapter one, one, verse 26 to 37, we won't read, we won't read that, I'll tell, tell you how it goes. How it goes. The, angel the, angel the angel appears, the angel appears to, 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 Mary. to Mary, yeah, yeah, it's time to it's preach time now. To preach now. The, angel the angel appears, appears to Mary. To Mary. And says, and says, oh, highly, oh, highly favored, favored one, amongst, amongst women, women. You, shall you shall be with child, be with child after the, after Holy, the Spirit Holy Spirit has over, over, over shadowed, over shadowed you. you. So, so, every time, every time the, Holy the Holy Spirit moves, moves and overshadows us, we, we expect pregnancies. <laughs> Every Sunday, everyone, 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 everyone shall come, come, come out like this year. Amen. 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 Hey, my my, 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 my car is showing, is showing here. here. Hey, 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 what am I what doing? Am I doing? <laughs> <laughs> every Sunday, Sunday, Sunday service, everyone, everyone must come, must come out pregnant. Pregnant, pregnant with an pregnant idea, with an idea a, dream, a dream. Or, or on Sunday, on Sunday babies, babies should be crying, should be crying in the service. service. Because, because every Sunday, Sunday, Sunday service, according to, according to this, this particular, a particular instance, is a delivery, is a delivery service. service. Amen. Amen. Gabriel, Gabriel literally, literally gives us what should what happen, should happen every, time every time there's a move, move of the Spirit. People should, People get, should pregnant. get pregnant. Says after, Says after the, Holy the Holy Spirit has overshadowed, overshadowed you, you, even if even your, if your was womb was closed, it must open. open. Because, because Mary, Mary had not had given, given birth to anything. She responds, she responds to the angel and says, how will, will, will these things be? Seeing, seeing I do not know a man. man. That is a that very, is a powerful, very powerful, powerful verse because, because what, what Mary is Mary literally, is literally saying, saying to us, the present, the present day, day church is, is there are certain pregnancies or there are certain manifestations or breakthroughs that will come even if you are not connected, connected to anyone. Shumba. Shumba. Even if, even if you're not connected to anyone, to anyone. even if you don't if have, you the, don't contact, have the contacts, the resources, the resources or, the, or the, if there is, if no, there is way, no way, just, ask, just for ask one thing, for one thing the, Holy the Holy Spirit to overshadow you. you. You'll be pregnant, You'll be pregnant even, even if you don't know him. Amen. 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 So, so Jesus, Jesus was born, born of a man. Then the then question, the question arises, arises theologically. That, that when Jesus, when Jesus was, born, was born, was there a was case, there a case anywhere, anywhere that his umbilical, umbilical cord was cut? Was cut? And, the and the answer is, answer yes. is yes. Because what because Mary, Mary has Mary is eating, Mary is eating Jesus, Jesus also has to eat. So while so Jesus, Jesus is in the womb, he's providing for himself according, according to his rich glory. glory. Amen. Amen. Because he because is, he is to eat the best. Hallelujah. And so, brothers and, so, and, sisters, brothers and sisters, Paul, Paul writes, writes to the church and says, Let Christ, let Christ be, formed be formed in you. In you. The same the way, same Mary, way was Mary was pregnant with Jesus is the same way you should be pregnant with the Christ. That's why he writes and says, Greater is he that is in. Amen. And so there comes a time as a believer where you can't hide the fact that you're a Christian because Christ has to be pushed out at some point. Amen. What has always been in you has to manifest. And the word became, and the word became. So it means what I'm carrying at some point, I don't care how long it's gonna take, it has to come out, amen. This is a principle on the things you say. The word became, the word became. And so if I lay my hand on my head and say that I will become wealthy, it is illegal for what a Christian says not to manifest because the word has to become. 
I'm about to preach in here, amen. I'm about to preach to someone in here that is discouraged, amen. What I came to tell you is that whatever you are pregnant with, if it's a if it's a word that is in your spirit, you better say it out because the license for every believer is that the word will become. It means what you say will have a mechanism of mobility. Amen. Ah, come on. That's why Jesus said to Peter, go and catch the first fish. And the first fish you catch will have a coin in its mouth. It's possible that somewhere that fish was swimming around with no coin in its mouth. But because the Son of Man, who is also the Son of God, has placed a demand in the spirit realm, the coin has to be in the, in the, in, in, in the fish's mouth. Amen. And so when I get up and say, I will own a house, it has to manifest because I am licensed. I'm a licensed manifester of the word. Amen. And so whatever I say has to manifest if Christ is in me because he is the word that became. Amen. So he was born of a woman. Number two, he was raised by Joseph and Mary. Luke chapter 2 verse 51. Now in the sixth, uh, where are we? Okay. Then he went down with them and came to Nazareth. He went away. He went down with them and came to Nazareth and was subject to them. But his mother kept all these things in her heart. Amen. So here is God being, parent, being parented by the people he created with no problem. The issue we have, brothers, <laughs> the issue we have, brothers and sisters, is how... Can I become this powerful and submit to people that are less powerful than me? Amen. <laughs> How can Jesus be this powerful and yet have to submit to people that he created? Brothers and sisters, this is one of the most classic examples of humility. When you know you can walk on water, when you know what you can do and yet be subservient to people of a lower rank or status than you. Amen. <laughs> he was raised by Joseph and Mary. Number three, he became hungry. The creator of the universe as a man, as the God man, he became hungry. Luke chapter 4 verse 2 Being tempted for 40 days by the devil In those days he ate nothing And afterward when he had ended his fast he was hungry Amen He was hungry I'm going somewhere Number 4 He became tired John 4 verse 6 Now Jacob's well was there Jesus therefore being wearied from his journey Meaning he was exhausted from his journey set by the well it was about the sixth hour so we now understand that Jesus could feel some of the things we feel amen uh, number five he became thirsty John 19 verse 28 the interesting thing about this particular uh, event is that Jesus went around went around claiming that he was the fountain of life and yet became thirsty Where had his ability to fuel himself gone to? After this Jesus, knowing that all things were now accomplished, that the scripture might be fulfilled, said, I am thirsty. What Jesus had done is he had poured himself out from Adam right to the cross. Amen. He had been a fountain that had been flowing. He is the same rock in the wilderness that God said to Moses, go and speak to the rock and the rock will yield water. Then the second time Moses, God instructs Mo Moses, says, go and strike the rock. First time, go and strike the rock. That was a sign of the sufferings of Christ. The second instruction was go and speak to the rock. That was now the activation of grace. Amen. 
where we could all appear like Moses and speak to the, to the Father one on one. But the mistake Moses made is he struck Jesus a second time. Christ was meant to suffer once and when Moses did that, God said you are not entering the promised land. Because you have brought the Christ into double sufferings when he's meant to die for the world once. Amen. So Jesus is thirsty on the cross because he's been pouring himself out from Adam right down to the, the, the cross. Amen. Ah, uh, number six, he became weak. Brothers and sisters, as a Christian, don't, don't be too hard on yourself when you become weak. John, uh, that's Luke chapter 23, verse 26. Now as they led him away, they laid hold of a man called Simon of Cyrene, who was an African, an Ethiopian, who was coming from the country. And on him they laid the cross that he might pay it after Christ. Christ had no strength anymore. Amen. Because he was, he, he was bleeding out after all the beatings. Amen. And after being struck and being kicked, he was now weak. And an African man came to the rescue. That's why you find right now, one of the things that is beginning to emerge, the Africans are now taking the gospel to the people that brought it to them. Because it's now the season of, the Sim of Simon the Cyrene. Amen. The African man is now bearing the cross, amen, and taking it not to Golgotha for cross crucifixion, but to what Isaiah says that, and in, in that day they shall come, out, come up to the mountain of the Lord, amen, the mountain where there is light, because now it is time for the African church to take the gospel to the people that brought it to them. Amen. So Jesus became weak to the extent that someone had to also help him carry the cross. Number seven, he was tempted. Hebrews chapter four, verse 15. For we do not have a high priest who cannot sympathize with our weaknesses, but was in all points tempted as we are yet without sin. Was in, was in all points tempted. Now, brothers and sisters, there are some temptations that the Bible does not write. There are some things that happened to Jesus according to John chapter 21 verse 25 that are not written because John says if we were to write all the things that Jesus did, they would not fit in the volume of this book. So which leads me to believe that there are women that came. No, but let's read. But was in all what? Ah. <laughs> oh Lord help me <laughs> Hey I don't blame the women Who wouldn't want to be Jesus' wife After he has walked on water Ah Hey Right now if I started floating in this service As I'm preaching and I start uh, Lavitating uh, My inbox tonight can you do it with me, men of God? Can you ascend and descend? Pastor Nkulube is watching me, amen. Let me... <laughs> hey, the comedian wants to come out at the wrong time, amen. He was tempted in all points, as we are. So Paul is saying he also went through the same temptation. Yet, I <laughs> mean, guys, hey, <laughs> oh, hey. <laughs> there's a time where I would literally laugh. Yo, yo, <laughs> tempted in all points and yet without sin. What a Christ! And yet, he was a man. Number eight, Jesus wept. It's not a sin to cry. I know even as men were told that men don't cry. Hey, I don't even know when was the last time I cried. Amen. Jesus wept. Because his friend, his friend, the interesting thing, Mom Chirang, Jesus is crying and yet he knows he can bring him back from the dead. So man, you call it like. Now let me explain. The man part of Christ 
is connected to the friendship. Then he switches to the God part of him and raises him from the dead. The man part of Christ cried. The God part of Christ raised Lazarus from the dead. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, where you can see, switch from the terrestrial to the celestial, amen. That is the life of a believer. Where you can acknowledge that there's a problem. And then switch Mrs. Mangwana. And then switch and get into the spirit. And say now, the God part, part of me is about to solve this problem. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Number nine. He felt pain. Matthew 26 verse 39. And he went a little further and fell on his face and prayed, Oh my father, if it is possible, let this cup pass from me. This is the man part of Christ. The God part then says, nevertheless, not my will, but as you will. <laughs> the man part is saying, I don't want to go through this. But then the God part says, what is pain? Let's go through it. Amen. Number 10, he felt forsaken. Mark chapter 15, verse 34. And at the ninth hour, Jesus cried out and said, Eloi, Eloi, lama sabachthani, which is translated, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? The man part of Christ felt alone because it is normal to forsaken, amen. If you came to me and you told me that you never felt at some point in your life that God is not with you, I cannot talk to you. Because we cannot relate, amen. We cannot, we cannot relate. I don't like sharing experiences with people that have not gone through anything. Because you will not understand. Amen. I don't like playing with people that don't like showing me their scars. When Jesus rose from the dead, he said, Why did God give Jesus a body that still had scars in his a glorified body that still had scars? Because the Bible says Jesus writes through the Holy Spirit in the whole, in the Old Testament says a body that, that you have prepared for me. Why did God give Jesus a body that still had scars? A glorified body. <laughs> That's a sermon for another day. Amen. So Jesus felt forsaken. It's normal to feel as if God is not with you. Jesus on the cross asked God a question. I remember growing up, we were told that you never ask God questions. I've come to cancel that. Amen. He said, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? It's normal, Joy, to ask God, where are you? Mary and Martha, their brother has, has died. John 11 verse 1 says, Lazarus was Jesus' friend. When Jesus arrived, Martha ran and said to Jesus, If you had been here, my brother would not have died. <laughs> if you had been here. And yet Martha knew that this man is the son of God. <laughs> Jesus on the cross says, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? So it's normal to ask God questions. Now, let's move to the last part of the message and deal with Jesus Christ as God. Number one, his wisdom. Luke 2 verse 45 to 47. So when they did not find him, they returned to Jerusalem seeking him. Christ's wisdom was above normal. Now, so it was that after three days, they found him. They found him after how many days? They found him in the temple, sitting in the midst of teachers, both listening to them and asking them questions. This is a 12 year old. And all who heard him were astonished at the understanding and the answers. 
there came a point. There came, there comes a point. Let me maybe let me use myself as an example. There came a point where you know some there are some things that happen without your knowledge. There came a point where sometimes when we would have quarterly meetings, when Bishop would host our quarterly meetings, that reverence would come to me to ask me Bible questions. And at that time I would be like, they would be like, so Mfana, I have a verse here, what do you think? I didn't know I had crossed a certain line in terms of scripture reading. That all the people began to notice this boy and the Bible, there's something up with this boy. Sometimes I'll travel to certain places, hubs. So they come and visit me. And when I get there, I would know there's no visit here. There are questions that are going to be asked. Jesus at 12, because the, there's a certain line you cross in certain things and understanding. That at some point they ask him, how does he know these things? Seeing he has not attended our schools of learning. That's wisdom that you cannot work for. It's given. This is that. Where a 12-year-old left men that had been studying the, 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 the Torah baffled at the level of revelation that this man had. A 12-year-old that, did not un, that had not attended Jewish school left men with white beards stunned because of the level of wisdom. Number two, his ability to teach. Luke chapter 4 verse 32. And they were astonished at his teaching for his word was with authority. He taught with such fervency and authority. The, the Pharisees had always been teaching but with no authority. The amazing thing is the Pharisees hated Jesus but followed him everywhere. <laughs> They followed him right from the time John the Baptist said, let me baptize you, this is, then God says, this is my son in whom I am. They followed him right there to the cross where they even said to him, come down if you are the son of God. When he says, when he says, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? They actually say that maybe he's calling on Elijah. They followed him right from the beginning of, they were part of Jesus' church. When Jesus fed the 5,000, they were there. And yet they didn't like him. You should check your friends, my guy. You should check your friends. <laughs> Amen. Number two, his ability to teach. Number three, his ability to transform lives. Matthew chapter 4, verse 19. Then he said to them, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Follow me and I will make you fishers of men. Pastor Clayton explained this meticulously last Tuesday. I don't need to even go into it. Amen. Jesus would just... Uh, right now, what amazing evangelism. How easy it would be on a Saturday if you just went to people and say, follow me and I'll make you fishers of men. And no one... No one asks who on earth you are, where you come from. They leave their nets and begin, and begin to follow you. Amen. How easy. Amen. No flyer, no brochure, no CV. Follow me and I'll make you. And remember, these were men that had professions. Amen. No asking where I'll get my money from, how I'll feed my family. Can I go and kiss uh, my wife goodbye or nothing. Matthew was a, worked at Zimra. He was a text collector. He leaves his resignation letter. Luke was a doctor. Operating on, give me a minute, let me stitch this man up, I'm following. Judas was an accountant at Ernest and Young. Let me balance the books, leave everything, hand in my resignation letter, I'm following. Professionals, amen. Didn't even have to ask twice. Follow me and I will make you. How can you tell a lawyer or a doctor that I'll make you a fisherman from being a, a, an accountant? What was so magnetic about Jesus that man would leave their occupations to follow him? Amen. Amen.
the ability to transform lives. Number four, his compassion and love. John 3 verse 16, we all know that one, amen. John chapter 8 verse 10, when Jesus had raised himself up and saw no one but the woman, he said to her, woman, where are you? Woman, where are you? Has no one, has no one condemned thee? This is one of my favorite portions of scripture. Here is a woman that has been caught in adultery. I'm about to finish. Um, they brought her and left the man. Because it is believed that the man was part of the Pharisees. He was a, <laughs> he was a, a well-renowned, respectable man. So they left, left him and took the woman to Jesus. Jesus... Moses says we should stone this woman. What do you say? If you read, it says Jesus didn't say anything, stooped down and wrote on the ground. The Bible does not tell us what he wrote. <laughs> Joy, the Bible doesn't tell us. They said Moses in the law said when a woman is caught in adultery, she must be stoned. They are, they are, they are telling Jesus who actually wrote on those, ten, on those two tablets of stone, the Ten Commandments. And they were right. That's why Jesus didn't say anything. But Jesus' response to that particular issue of the law is writing on the ground. Now let's do a bit of geography. What happens to a stone over time? What does it turn into? So Jesus is saying, I'm the same Jesus that wrote that law. And I'm rewriting it now. But this time I'm not writing it on stone. I'm writing it on the law that is gone. The law has become dust. Grace is what's going to release this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the same thing I, I'm using the same finger that wrote the Ten Commandments to write a new law that this woman is to be released because the same finger that wrote that this woman must be stoned is now rewriting that this woman must be released and if you read that particular portion of scripture it says they threw down there And then Jesus turns to the woman who is a type of the church and says, where are you? So, his compassion and love, amen. It is the reason that we are going to see him as the God man, but as God in the way he is going to release this woman. Because any loving father, even after knowing that what, what your daughter has done, what you'll do is embrace her with love. Amen. Amen. Number five, his awareness of his surroundings. John 1 verse 48. Jesus as, the, as, as God was so aware of his surroundings that he says, Nathaniel, Nathaniel said to him, how do you know me? Because Jesus had said to Nathaniel, before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. But the interesting thing, thing is, after doing a study on, on, on uh, uh, the, the tree life in Israel, is that there are so many fig trees. Which fig tree is Jesus talking about? The fig tree, this particular scripture is not about Nathaniel standing under a fig tree. This particular scripture is about, Nathan, is about Adam being covered by a fig leaves in the Garden of Eden. It's about where sin began. That's why when you read in Mark chapter 11, when Jesus gets to the fig tree and curses, the, the Bible says, and Jesus said to the fig tree. Actually, it doesn't say Jesus said to, it says Jesus replied to the fig tree. In, open it now, Mark chapter 11, from verse 12 to 15. It says Jesus replied to the fig tree. What did the fig tree say to Jesus? 
What did the fig tree say to Jesus? The fig tree said to Jesus, you are about to be naked on the cross. The same way I covered Adam, can I cover you? And Jesus cursed the fig tree. <laughs> so Jesus was so aware, not only of his surroundings at that moment, but aware of the past, the present and the future. He was as, as, as God. He was aware of all things. What the Bible even says, he knew the thoughts of all men. Right now, I think that was a burden. Because right now, if I was to, able to know what's going on in everyone's mind here, I could collapse. Amen. But Jesus loved people knowing what they were thinking. He knew the first day he called Judas that this man... He's going to steal from me and he's going to betray me. But anyway, I'm going to anoint him. I'm going to teach him and I'm going to call him. He knew that Peter traveled with a knife for three and a half years. <laughs> so Jesus was aware of his surroundings. His omniscience never escaped him. Amen. Number six. His awareness of people's thoughts, Mark chapter 9, verse 4. But Jesus, knowing their thoughts, said, Why do you think evil in your hearts? And they were amazed. That, what's going on? Did this man Google me? Amen. Number 7. His boldness, Luke 13, verse, uh, Luke 13, verse 32. When they came to him to challenge him, government officials, he said to them, go and tell that fox, who was the fox? Herod, the president at that time. He said, go and tell that fox, behold, I cast out demons and, perf and perform cures today and tomorrow. And the third day I shall be perfected. What he was literally saying is, your governmental system cannot do anything to me. Amen. Number eight, his authority, Matthew 7, verse 29, 4. He taught them as one having authority and not as the scribes. Amen. Number nine, his uniqueness, John 8, verse 58 and 59. Jesus said to them, most assuredly, I say to you, before Abraham was, I am. That's broken English. <laughs> You can't fool me, oh. That is broken English now. Before Abraham was, I am. What is that? I'm now switching to my West African. Amen. I am. Not I was. Not I will be. I am. What Jesus is saying is, I am God. Because let me show you the power of I am. I, I am is a now expression it's not a will be expression or a was expression now because the spirit realm does not work on yesterday today and tomorrow the spirit realm functions on now because there is no time that's why when the burning bush was burning the reason why moses knew god was there was because it was not being because for something to be consumed it's because there is time and so if something is not being consumed, it means it's in a zone of timelessness. Moses had always seen, seen burning bushes. But what made him attracted to these bushes? Because the bush was burning and it was not being consumed. He knew that a realm of the spirit was on the bush. Because the spirit realm operates on now. Because uh, Hebrews chapter 11 verse 1. When now faith is. Now. That's why the Garden of Eden was very unique because the Garden of Eden was a realm of now. There was no winter, summer, autumn, and spring. So there was no need for Adam to farm. If he removed an apple, it would grow back because it's a moment of now. Now faith is. Not now faith will be. Now. So when before Abraham was, I am. If he says that 10 seconds later, he's still I am. If he says it 20,000 years later, he's still, 
because he's always operating on now. So he's unique, amen. Number 10, his power. Matthew 8, verse 27. So the man marveled, saying, Who can this be that even the wind obey him? Matthew 8, verse 8. Give me Matthew 8, verse 8. I want us to do something. Matthew 8, verse 8. We're about to close. We're now doing the genealogy, then we close. The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that you should come under my roof, but only speak a word and my servant will be made whole. One of the thing, one of the ways in which Jesus demonstrated his power was in what he said, his sayings and his miracles. Most of the things Jesus said were to teach us something. If you read Mark chapter 11, verse 12 to 15, and then from verse 20 to 25, Jesus says something interesting. After they had seen the fig tree dry, the disciples said, the fig tree that you cursed is now dry. He said, this is a principle. The first way we should function as a believer is you say and you pray. Sometimes you pray when you are meant to say. Joy, Jesus says to the, they, they want to know how he, he tried the fig tree. He says, you shall say to this mountain, not you shall pray. The first code of conduct for a believer is saying. Because prayer is communicating with God. He said, you shall say to this mountain, not you shall pray. Be removed and cast into the sea. And whatever you say, you will have. Then in verse 20 to 25, he says, Whenever you pray, believe that you will receive. And if you do not doubt, you will have whatever you pray for in my... When you, so he's saying, in prayer, use my name. But in saying, say it with, with the authority I've given you. So a believer has to say... Know when to say and know when to. You are praying for a mountain, it's not moving. Because the mountain is waiting for you to say. So the things. So saying is for removing and replacing. Prayer is for talking to God. <laughs> you shall say to this mountain. Be removed and cast into the sea. There is something Jesus did, Joy, that is interesting. The Bible says they questioned Jesus about his teachings and his doctrine. I think it's in Matthew 8, forgetting the verse. And when Jesus responded to them by saying that the Father has sent me, I'm the Son of God, they were angry. They were angry. And when they were angry, the Bible says they took Jesus and sought to push him over a cliff. Guess what Jesus did? The Bible, the Bible says, and Jesus hid himself and moved through them, not among them. Huh? <laughs> now, <laughs> I, I got an A in English car. Right now, if I said something controversial here and make you guys got angry, even if three women came, I wouldn't be able to resist the, 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 the force, amen, because they would throw me out. The Bible says Jesus hid himself, number one. Number two, it says he moved through them. Here is a crowd of more than 3,000 men. They took him and sought to push him over a cliff. But just because he has not gone to the cross, it's not how he's going to die. The Bible says he hid himself and moved through them. Do you know what the word through means? <laughs> the word means through is, the word, the word through means if Mamchi Rams 
and Mama Tiwa Sahi. I am going to walk not among them, between them. I'm going to walk through. And if you read in other verses, it says, they, when the disciples looked for him, they found him praying somewhere. So I hear these days people saying, I go through. It's actually biblical to go through, amen. <laughs> you couldn't outnumber Jesus. He would vanish. The Bible says he hid himself and, and moved through them. More than 3,000 men. Now let's do the genealogy. Give me the genealogy, then let's pray. The first time we meet Jesus is not in Genesis 1 verse 1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. And was without form and was void. And um, the spirit of the Lord hovered over the face of the deep. And God said, let there be. So in those two verses, we see the Holy Trinity. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. Earth was formless and was void. And the spirit, the Holy Spirit. And God said, God said, let there be. That's God, the Father, the Spirit, and the Son. Because the Son comes in verse 4. So let there be light is Christ. So the Trinity. Now, God hid Christ's assignment in a genealogy. Can you throw it up? Remember, we read names. Let's go back to the names. So the first on the list is God because he's the one who is going to create Adam. So number one, please put up the, the genealogy so that we pray. God, Yahweh. The God, Yahweh. Number two, who comes in Adam? Adam means man. The word, the name Adam means man. Number three, joy, we have Seth. Seth means appointed. Number four, we have Enosh. Enosh means mortal man. Number five, we have Kenan. Kenan means sorrow. Let's move on. Mahalalel means the God, the glory of God. Jared means shall come down. Enosh means teaching. Let's go. Methuselah meaning his death shall bring. Lamech means those in despair. Noah means comfort and rest. Let's read that genealogy. Let's read it. Let me read it for you. This is a sentence that God wrote in a genealogy. The God, man, is appointed a mortal, has, is appointed a mortal man of sorrow. But the glory of God shall come down, teaching that his death shall bring those in despair, comfort, and rest. That's Jesus Christ. <laughs> Let's read that again. Then we can pray. At the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heavens. So at the top is God. Then God created Adam. Cain and Abel are out of the equation. Cain is excommunicated. Abel is dead. Seth is the only remaining son. So in that genealogy, we have God, Adam, Seth, Enosh, Kenan, Mahalalel, Jared, Enosh, Methuselah, Lamech to Noah. The God, Yahweh. The God man, Yahweh Adam. My message, the God man. Because Jesus is the second Adam. The God man, Seth, is appointed a mortal man, Enosh. Kenan, Kenan meaning of sorrow. But Mahalalel, the glory of God, shall come down, Jared, teaching that Enosh, his death shall bring Methuselah, the meanings of the names. Lamech, those in despair, Noah, comfort and rest. That is Christ's assignment in a genealogy. I can do all the genealogies now that you find in the Bible. I can tell you what they mean, all of them. They've, they've, they're explaining Christ's, uh, Christ's assignment, all including the one in Matthew. The one from Abraham right to Jesus. I can break it down, which just takes time. All the genealogies you find. If you go to Genesis chapter 10, 
there are num a list of a number of years of how long some of these men lived. If you take the differences and add them, they add up to 1,948. That's in Genesis chapter 10, Pastor Msa. They add up to 1,948. When was Israel independent? 1948. <laughs> Let's stand. We are going to pray, amen. Where is Daniel? We are going to pray. The purpose of this message was not just to reveal Christ as the God man, as we've seen in this genealogy. Christ, the purpose of this message was to reveal that we can, we can live in both worlds. We can weep like Christ and raise Lazarus from the dead. We can be tired like Christ and fail to carry certain burdens. But after three days, we'll be back and be able to carry the whole world. Christ could be hungry, but could multiply five loaves and two fish into, into, and feed thousands of people. There's a part of the Bible where it says that Jesus said to the disciples, let's go to the other side. And he says, get into the boat and go. And the Bible says he remains praying and ministering to people. That's Christ as a man, as a pastor. Where sometimes, Pastor Carl, we remain doing certain things while other people are progressing in their boats. We remain dealing with God things. Pastor, I'm saying we look like we're behind, like we're, we don't know what we're doing. And by the time we're done with doing God things and ministering to people and praying for people, Mama Tiwas, and we look back, the people who went to school with are gone in boats. And we remain standing on the shore, Shumba, and other people are gone. Jesus, now everyone is gone. He's prayed for people, he's rebuked demons. He's rebuke sickness the disciples are gone in comfort Jesus looks at where he is and where others have progressed and gone to they've bought houses they've bought cars they've traveled the world so much that they are, their daughters are getting married and, and, and they are achieving so much and Jesus is standing on the shore and he's the God man as a man he was ministering but now he, he cannot catch up to those people as a man. He has to switch and become the God man. The Bible says they saw him walking on water. No boats, no resources. He's moving on a speed boat, a speed boat. He's going to switch it up, Shumba. As a traitor, he's going to switch it up. I have to catch up, but I don't have the resource that the others have. So now I'm going to switch into the spirit realm and walk on what Moses had to part. <laughs> I'm going to walk on what Moses had to part. I don't have time for this sea to open up like Moses. And so I'm going to walk on what Moses had to part. I'm going to do something greater than what Moses did. And the Bible says when they saw him coming, while they were in the boat, thinking that that, that person had been left behind, they don't know, they did not know that he was the God man. Then 1 John chapter 4 verse 4 says, Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. When they saw Jesus coming, they said he's a ghost. And they were right. Because as a believer, you are meant to do ghost things. Because you are filled with the holy. <laughs> they were right, that is a ghost. It's when as believers we operate as God men. And as God women. When you start doing ghost things, Mama Tiwas, like you said on Sunday, that your goats are giving birth like Jacob's goats. 
they are wondering, did you give them mutis? Did you make them drink something? <laughs> and yet you are operating as a God woman, God man. You are doing God's things. I want us to pray for the, the God part of the notes. Number one, let's pray for the Christ-like wisdom. Number two, we're going to pray for the ability to teach. And I'm not talking about teaching on the pulpit, wherever you are. The ability to explain your faith with such eloquence, with such light, because we're the salt of the world and we're the light. We're the salt of the earth and we're the light of the world. Where you'll explain without panicking, even when people debate, you are able to meticulously explain the ability to transform lives, the authority, the boldness, the uniqueness. We're going to pray in for a few things from those notes. First thing I want us to pray for is this wisdom. The wisdom that Jesus had, that he could teach as a 12-year-old in Luke chapter, in Luke chapter 2. And leave educated men astounded amen i want you to pray for wisdom for whatever field or whatever you are aiming for the christ type of wisdom philippians chapter 2 verse 5 let this mind which was in christ jesus be in you also a mind that can say i have no boat so i'm going to walk on water there's no bread what's there Give me once they let me multiply it. Basically, what Paul is saying is a mind that knows no limits. Yes, you can be tired like Christ. Yes, you can weep. You can acknowledge that there's a problem. But at the same time, you can switch from the terrestrial, from the from the tangible, and begin to activate the, the, the invisible. Amen. Pray for the Christ type of wisdom. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray tonight. We give you the glory, the honor, and the praise. We pray for the Christ type of wisdom, Lord, that enables us to know no limitations. We pray that, Lord, Heavenly Father, you may activate our minds, you may activate our thoughts, that we may have the mind of Christ, the limitless mind. That even though we can experience human experiences of being thirsty, hungry, tired, discouraged, where we can sometimes question you like Jesus and say, my father, my father, why have you forsaken me? And yet on the third day, we know that the father will raise us up. We pray for that kind of wisdom, Lord. The wisdom that understands the processes of the spirit. That the mind that understands that we are in the terrestrial so that we, ex we, we express the celestial. In the name of Jesus, we pray for the Christ type of wisdom that can pay any bill without hesitation by just placing a demand in the heavens and in the spirit and accessing the power of the Holy Spirit on demand. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, Lord Heavenly Father, for in, that you may overshadow each and every woman in this place lord that you may overshadow them with the wisdom of christ the wisdom that knows no limitation in the mighty and wonderful name of jesus christ we pray amen the second thing i want us to pray for is the ability to transform lives christ's evangelism was like a hot knife cutting through butter. You just to the point where Jesus became a magnetic force, amen. That people like uh, Zacchaeus would actually climb up trees to experience his coming than waiting on the road. Amen. Just to know, to climb a tree and to know that he's coming to me, amen. That he's on my way to change my life. I want us to have that effect 
where the Bible says even prostitutes would bring their proceeds and break them as a sign of saying, I am no longer going to live on this um, anymore. I am now turning to you. The Bible says Mary, uh, Mary Magdalene had seven demons. But because of the transforming power, she's the first person to, wit to witness the resurrected Christ, a prostitute. She's the first to experience the, glo to experience the glorified body of Christ. I want us to pray and say, Lord, help me to change people's lives. May I have that kind of, of, of pull and, 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 and effect on people. Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray, the Lord Heavenly Father, that we may have the kind, the kind of, of impact that Jesus had. That we will be able to draw many. For Jesus said, if I be lifted up, I shall draw men unto me in the name of Jesus Christ. We pray, Lord Heavenly Father, that even as we go out to witness and even as we are in the workplace and in different places of our life, that Lord Heavenly Father, we may be able to have the impact in the pool, Lord Heavenly Father, that Jesus had. In the name of Jesus. I pray, Lord Heavenly Father, and we call upon your name, that Lord Heavenly Father, we may have the kind of influence, being the light and the salt, that Lord Heavenly Father, men and women around us will begin, will begin to experience your power through us, in the name of Jesus Christ, that people will begin to experience your love through us, Lord, experience your compassion and your mercy and your grace through us, in the name of Jesus Christ. We bless and we magnify your name. We thank you, Lord, for Lord Heavenly Father, you, you said it in your word that we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. We can do all things through Christ who strengthens us. Greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Father, you say that out of us shall flow rivers of living water. We pray that that living water, Lord Heavenly Father, may be a source of energy and refreshing for many, Lord, even as they come to you. In Jesus' name. The third thing I want us to pray for is point number five, where I said that Jesus was aware of his surroundings. That Jesus was aware of his surroundings. Where you can sense danger from afar. This is a high level of discernment. Where you are so aware that even in your sleep, I remember, I think it was in 2005, I think it was the last time we had the conference at 13th Avenue upstairs. And um, Bishop Lutwama preached a message on rivers of living water, where he talked about the river. And, 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 and the pond. Mamchi Rams, I know you were there. With 13th Avenue, 2005, the last conference that we had in that upper auditorium before we moved to the trade fair. I remember that night, I had an out-of-body experience because of the power that was in that service, Pastor Carl. And one of the things that began to happen to me is I became it was like i don't know what happened i couldn't explain it because i was still new i was able to be aware of my surroundings to the extent that sometimes even today i can see something from afar and not talk about it i can tell you that this thing won't end well or go for this thing or even my personal surroundings i can know that it's, it's as if it's photographic memory or something. It's because of what happened in 2005. But we should pray that such things must be amplified. Amen. Where you are able to discern even witchcraft. And at the same time, I know as Africans we love discerning witchcraft. But at the same time, be able to discern opportunities like Abraham aware of your surroundings where says choose where you want to go lot goes to a place with green pastures abraham goes to a desert 
today that desert is producing what is fueling the world. Lot saw dirt, but because Abraham had met met Melchizedek, he was aware of his surroundings. He said, you can go to the green pastures, I'll go to the desert. Today, Abraham's offspring are mining oil in that desert that their great-grandfather saw. It's when you can see oil under a desert, Mr. Mangwana. Opportunities in dry places. It's being aware of your surroundings. Let's pray. Father, we pray for discernment, Lord Heavenly Father. We pray for discernment as the body of Christ and as believers. That we will be able to see things, Lord Heavenly Father, that other people cannot see. situations that other people cannot read that not heavenly father will be able to know the, our surroundings in terms of weapons being formed or fashioned against us but at the same time that we may discern opportunities and change of seasons that like Jesus we may be aware of our surroundings in the name of Jesus that we will be aware of our surroundings in the moves of the Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ, that Lord Heavenly Father, we may see, Lord Heavenly Father, in the heavens and even things on the earth, for we are seated with Christ in heavenly places. Father, we declare, Lord Heavenly Father, that you are unlocking our discernment, our ability to see with the eyes of the flesh and our ability to see with the eyes of the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, Father, we pray for such precise discernment, even as the Holy Spirit shows us and reveals things to us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. The last thing that we're going to pray for is the ability to manifest power. The ability to manifest power. One of the things that made Jesus distinct, one of the three things that made Jesus distinct was his wisdom, his teachings, and his demonstration of power. His demonstration of power. Where Jesus even says, you shall say to this mountain, be removed and cast into the sea. Where Jesus could rebuke a tree for those that are farmers. <laughs> What's going on? You shall say to this mountain. So Jesus is giving us a lesson on how to talk to objects. What is this bond not still doing here? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> Jesus is giving us a lesson on how to talk to things we can see. You shall say to this mountain, he's not talking about a mountain in the spirit, no. He's talking about something that's right in front of you. You shall say to this mountain, be removed. Because brothers and sisters, if the mountain doesn't go, it means we have to go around the mountain. In how many years is that? So we, it's power to talk. Jesus could talk to objects. Jesus could talk to objects in the physical and things in the spirit we need that power so he had power through the things that came out of his mouth and he had power through the demonstration with his hands the bible says he broke the bread lifted it up and prayed and it became more than what was there originally five loaves and two fish fed five thousand men excluding women and children we have come to a time where we will no longer have to explain our Christianity. We will have 
to demonstrate it. We will serve to explain it and then demonstrate it. So again, when Zagalanda, oh, we send up as one. I want us to pray and you say that, Lord, may the word that is in me become flesh. May the things I declare for my children, for my finances, for my family, for my business, may the word become flesh flesh because it is illegal for me to say something and it doesn't manifest because the word dwells in me that became flesh so it means what I say must come from the depth of what I carry and I carry the Christ let's pray father we pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord heavenly father we may be those that demonstrate power that we may demonstrate your power Lord heavenly father in the things we say May our words become flesh. May the things we declare manifest, Lord Heavenly Father. Be it breaking of sickness. May we declare healing. And that word of healing becomes flesh in terms of a miracle. May we declare growth and that growth materializes. For we carry the word that became flesh. And so, Lord Heavenly Father, by the reason of the rights of a believer that we possess, Lord, may we declare things and speak things into the atmosphere that will materialize. And so we declare, Lord Heavenly Father, that the building that you have so graciously, Lord Heavenly Father, allowed us to build through your mercy and your grace, we send a word that will become flesh, that we will move into a first world building. We declare, Lord Heavenly Father, that we will be able to tap into the finances that will permit us to be a first world, a first world church, Lord, that to have a first world church building. We declare and it shall materialize, it shall manifest for the word, the invisible word became flesh and dwelt amongst us. We pray that everything that is being prophesied and declared in this building tonight that it may manifest and become flesh and dwell amongst us. Be it houses, be it buildings, be it land, be it finances, be it jobs. We pray and unlock and say whatever has been released in the atmosphere, that it may become flesh and dwell amongst us. That we will celebrate and, and have housewarming parties and, and cut ribbons for buildings and, and, and cut ribbons for schools and, 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 and grow and expand because what we have released in the atmosphere as a word, as a prophetic declaration has to become flesh, Lord. In the mighty and wonderful name of Jesus Christ we pray and the whole church say, Let's put our hands together for Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let's take our seats even as we get into a time of giving. Amen. Even as we get into a time of giving. Wow.